It is your home of the phone scams. This is the Mojo in the Morning Show. Lindsay says her sister-in-law, Karen, just went back to work after eight years of raising her kids. She misses the stay-at-home mom life and only Spike's phone scams would cheer her up. It's time now for a phone scam. Mojo in the Morning. Mojo in the Morning. Home of the world-famous phone scams. Hello? Yeah, hello. Is this Mrs. Karen of account on uh, 166 West Brighton? Yes, it is. Yeah, ma'am. My name is Richard Cranium. I'm with Consumers Energy. Yes? I'm trying to do a meter reading out here at your house, and I can't get around to the back of the house because I'm stuck right now. I got an axe to grind. I'm at the end of my rope. Well, what are you doing at the house? You're doing a meter reading? I'm doing a me- I'm trying to do a re- meter reading, man, but Zippy Monkey Brains, here's guys ants in his pants. Excuse me? I'm sitting here all dressed up and nowhere to eat. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm on top of the doghouse, ma'am. I can't. I came around to do a meter reading, and your dog comes running out of the doggy door in the back of your house. That's right. Yeah, he comes barking and frothing at the mouth, and he's looking at me like I'm a big steak. And I go running up on the doghouse, and now I'm stuck here. Well, you know what? I have. We have discussed this with the company already. And you guys are supposed to notify me what day you guys are going to be out to read the Ma'am, meter. I'm stuck up here come hell or high water. I'm sorry. I need your help. I'm at work. I, I don't have time to... I don't know what you want me to do. Well, I need you to call him off. Lickety split. Okay, ma'am, he's jumping up and chopping away at me. And he's just... Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, stop. He's almost caught my ankle in his choppers. He's a baby. He's a sweetheart. You Don't call- act like you're afraid. I need you to call him off or I'm giving him a knuckle sandwich. Uh, you will not touch my oh, dog. Oh, jeez. You will not touch my dog. Ma'am, I need you. He's- I'm going to have to give him. Oh, God, Jesus. Well, off. you better quit poking at him. Get away from me, you snotty little falafel. Hey, don't talk to my dog that way. Ma'am, I'm about to give him the business end of a size 10 worker boot here if you can't call him off for me. Oh, yeah. Get him up. You, you, oh. you better not touch my dog. You're not getting me. Yeah, I need you to call him off here. Well, how, how do you expect me to do that? You can tell this dog he can kiss my a- poochie poo. Hey, nothing. There's, no, there's no reason for that kind of language. My dog is protecting our property. He's doing his job. Yeah, oh. You people obviously don't know how to do your job because you're supposed to inform me when you're going to be coming out there. Man, that's besides the point. I need you to help. No, that's not besides the point. It's my property. It's protected. You're supposed to give me notification. This is something that's been arranged through the company oh. at our house. You're giving me a lecture. I'm standing on top of your gosh well, darn doghouse. I'm giving you a lecture. You shouldn't be trespassing on my property. He won't stop snapping at me. I need you to call him well, off. Well, quit poking at him. Just leave him alone. Just sit there for a minute, and he'll walk away and ignore you. Ma'am, I'm not poking. I've been up here for ten minutes. Right. You keep telling me you're going to try to kick him and everything like that. Okay, you don't ma'am. Think he knows that hostility. Mrs. H- maybe I can, maybe I can hold the phone out, and you can call him off for me. Oh, hold the phone out and call him up. Oh, come on. And maybe you could just tell him to, you know, be a good poochie. Oh, God. He's not... Yeah, right. Man, I gotta do something. I've been out here for ten minutes. Just... To, right, fine, try it, just try, try it. Okay, try it. hold on. I'm gonna hold the phone out. You call him. You you go ahead and settle him down there. Okay, go ahead. Thor, honey. Thor, go in the house. Thor... Come on, baby. Go in the house. Come on, we get something special. Come on. Go in the house. Get in. Go in the house, Thor. It's all right. Come on, baby. Come on. Go in the house. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ma'am, this is, I know I don't know your dog from Adam, but there's just one more thing. Maybe you can also tell him. Could, what? Could, well, just repeat after me. Maybe this will work. Maybe this will get him. If you could just tell him, say, say, Thor, you have been... Thor, you've been... The victim of a Mojo in the Morning phone scam. What, <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Jesus, you're calling me at work with this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. People are looking at me like, what the hell is this lady? Oh, my God. Y- your sister-in-law says that the neighbors are even afraid of Thor. Well, and the neighbors should be afraid of Thor. That's why we've got him. <laughs> <laughs> we will, we will scam you. Ah! 
your home of the phone scams. The world famous. This is Mojo and the.